Hello fellow aspirants, this is me Dr. Jagdeep Chakta and today's podcast will be talking about automation. In this podcast we will be, deal- we'll be dealing with all the aspects of automation and how it will impact India's economy. So let us first know the definition of the concept. It is the use of automatic equipment in a manufacturing or industrial process or facility. So it's not <coughs> sorry. It's not as if automation has started recently. It has been going on since long time, even since ancient times, if you can stretch it that far. But the scale at which it is progressing, that is important. So from right to like from 1980 onwards, the scale has increased drastically. And many scientists say that today we are on the verge of the fourth industrial fourth industrial revolution. So it is the positive of automation is that it is a boon for the aging world. Prominent nations like Japan and Germany are facing a situation where their young population is fast declining and their population is getting older. So they have this kind of an inverted pyramid of demographics. So this is a problem for them and because of automation they can solve this problem so that they can automate the industries and they will need less manpower. So let us talk about automation and its impact on make in India. Now automation is a reality. Most industries are switching to automated machines to do work and they are employing less and less laborers. So in this case if we make make in India more focused only upon work which requires manual uh, labor so these skills will not be of any use later on so we have to analyze industries and understand which jobs will be replaced by machines and then do skill development only in those jobs which are at a lower risk of being replaced by machines which all sectors will be affected? The primary sector definitely is. Yes. But in this case we desire automation because we want to free people from the agriculture and shift them towards the upper sectors. So in secondary sector automation is definitely taking place and it will displace a few jobs and even the tertiary sector automation is taking place. That is in even in IT. Uh, suppose for certain coding I require a coder and someone builds a software which we can which we can which can use like give solutions faster than this person then I do not require this coder so this kind of automation is going on in IT sector or even in other tertiary sectors also some examples of automation are 3d printing now suppose I have to buy a machine and or suppose uh, any kind of clothing and it is getting 3d printed for me as per my customized requirements so that is more beneficial for me right so the impact on consumers is that it will it is good for consumers because uh, most consumers will get what they want and exactly the same kind of machines and same kind of products which they want the social impact is also there that is this might result into unemployment and associated issues of unemployment. So what I can do about this? Some governments in Europe have come with the idea of basic income that the government will provide its citizen with some basic income. But in the case of India, with such a large population, this basic income is kind of a difficult proposition. So what we can do is we can provide minimum wage or we can decrease the working hours so that more people are, will get employment but halting the march of automation is a bit difficult most governments have tried it but ultimately they don't work because if we put regulatory obstructions on automation those industries are going to shift out of India but it will also throw up new opportunities these opportunities could be 
in the new kind of jobs they'll throw up. For example, suppose a company has automated to all robots, but then these robots will also need maintenance. They'll need someone to code their software. So those kind of jobs will come up. So what we can see is low skill jobs will be less in number, but high skill jobs will increase. Those which require decision making, those which require risk taking, those kind of jobs will increase. So this will be called technological unemployment. If it happens, this kind of employment ha unemployment happens when the technology changes and people are not in tune with the technology and that is why they are fired. That is technological unemployment. Now if we want to deal with the situation, what we have to do is, people should be taught skills which are easier to learn, unlearn and relearn. Okay, like unlearn, relearn. So because the future sh demands that people should be flexible and change by the changing winds. And that is how there is one way which we can tackle this and all the government initiatives like skill india should reflect this reality they cannot teach fossilized old skills to the people and hope that they'll be employable in the future no this is difficult also we have one more opportunity where we can impart good skills to our people and then they will get jobs in countries like Germany and Japan where more requirement is needed required of employees and if people are willing to work at rates lower than the machines then even then the profitability margin will be towards the people I hope this was helpful thanks a lot have an awesome day keep studying